What's going on guys? I'm Frank Wack and I'm here today at AnimeCon Arkansas. I need to mention that. I'm at AnimeCon Arkansas 2016. I'm here today with Mr. Jerry Jewell. Hello everyone. I'm also at said convention. <laughs> um, In case you were wondering. By far one of my favorite voice actors. Like I told you on the way up here. Kyo is, is probably my favorite character in all of anime. I like him. Um, and you also play uh, Jimmy Kudo. I do. Um, did. 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 Oh, it's done. For now. For now. Okay. Who knows it, what It'll be a bad future. Who knows? Um, and you're also Rin Sushimi from yes. Shuffle. And a show I don't hear very much Yeah, about. and I, I watched it forever ago, and I loved it, and I'm like, oh, he's the voice of Kyo, I love it. And I went to look up your IMDb to ask questions, to write questions for you, and I'm like... Oh. There's a lot of characters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's so many good ones. And Ren, I was just like, I have fanboyed for maybe five minutes. I was like, oh my god, he's in one of my other favorite animes now. <laughs> Playing the part of the awkward teenage boy for years. <laughs> for now. years. So, uh, speaking of years, I don't want to make you sound old, but how long have you been voice acting? Uh, since 2001 for going, Funimation. Going on 15 years now. Going on 15 years. Wow. 2001. Uh, I think that's when Fruits Basket came out. Yeah. We did, great. I think it was the uh, the 10th anniversary of Fruits Basket that we uh, reconvened and all of the main right. cast mm -hmm. uh, did a little video thing for their re release of Fruits Basket. That's awesome. And they did a little research and they. This is just one of those fun voice actor trivia things. Mm. Uh, that was the first time we had all been in a room together. <laughs> <laughs> because voice actors get the booth and they don't. Right, they're, and we don't. You know, yeah. I'm not sure I even knew Eric Vale when we <laughs> recorded Fruits Basket. That's great. And you're literally bickering back and forth with yeah. him the entire show. He and I have played opposites on a number of shows, yeah. and uh, but yeah, you don't, you know. That's the great part about it, especially when you're starting off, is right. you get to meet all these people that you've worked with but never met. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Um, kind of cool. So I, I wanted to, to do this kind of interview and talk about voice acting for as long as we find interesting things to talk about. Sure, sure. Um, how did you get your start in voice acting? Uh, I will give you the short version. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do have a theater background, right. a performance background. Um, I had actually moved to Texas with a friend of mine to join a band, Okay. and our drummer was the lead sound engineer at Funimation, oh, wow. which at the time was on the second floor of a bank building, Yeah. Um, and he was helping our keyboard player uh, mm -hmm. find a job, okay. and he got him on as an ADR engineer That's cool. at Funimation, uh, engineering for Sabbath. Oh, okay. And uh, he called me one weekend and asked if I wanted to come up and try my hand at it. I did. Um, and then I, they asked if I wanted to audition. Um, right. And I, th I want to say that's around the time that Blue Gender happened. Um, it's forever. And Chris Sabat, lovely man that he is, uh, I remember my memory of, of those sessions was at one point he goes, I think you could do this for a living. Oh, yeah. And, you know, coming from Sabbath, who I didn't know that well at the time, only, right. you know, knew of what he had done right. uh, in, you know, Dragon Ball Z. Mm. It, you know, that's a compliment. That's right. a huge compliment. And uh, been auditioning since then. Uh, the keyboard player that I moved around with, by the way, is Justin Cook. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> who's Kei Urameshi, for those of you that don't know. And, uh, who is now over production at Funimation. That's awesome. He's my boss now. <laughs> you still room with him or? No, nah, he's you know, he's married and oh, all okay. that and I, I have my own house. That's is that kinda of weird living with your boss? It would you know, <laughs> to be honest, I don't think it would affect us. We've really? we've been I've known that guy since I was fifteen years old, so oh, wow. we've always worked in a very professional way with each other. Yeah. Um you know, there's a time that he's my boss, and then there's a time that we're just friends, and, and yeah. never the twain shall meet. <laughs> I got you. It's always the best way to do it. Um, so how, how could somebody like me, if I wanted to be a voice actor, how could I get into voice actor? Um, well, first things first, experience. Okay. Um, acting. It, it doesn't... 
and I know a, a ton of voice actors say this, but it's true. Don't focus on just voice acting. Acting right. is the first thing. Okay. Um, as an ADR director, I can tell you that if you come audition at Funimation or send in a demo reel or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to judge you so much on the voices. It's cool if you've got more than one voice right. or you can adjust your voice in a, in a certain way. That's definitely a, a tool you can use. Right. Um, but it's going, whether or not you get called back is going to have everything to do with performance. Uh, what exactly do you mean by that? Because we're talking to voices. Well, in the beginning, oh. in the beginning, when you audition, there, right. there, there's nothing, we're not asking you to match flaps. Okay. We're not asking you to do any of that so stuff. It's just straight reading. Straight reading. Right. And if you don't capture us during that, uh, chances are we're not going to call you back. I got you. Um, but then again, there are different categories. Uh, a lot of people where it's like, ah, I think they can do it, but they're new, mm -hmm. so let's break them in on some bit parts, or let's right. break them in on Walla, or, or something like that. Right. What is Walla? Walla, 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 <laughs> um, is all of the crowd scenes, okay. where you, like say you've got crowd walking by on an, in an afternoon, mm -hmm. light chatter, right. or whatever, and, and it's, you know, a bunch of guys and or girls uh, in a room. Just talking. You know, <laughs> not, not even really talking. Just hopefully not saying anything that stands out too much or right. doesn't belong in the anime, which that does happen sometimes. But uh, you know, just kind of the crowd stuff. Right. Or right. or if there's a group, you know, soldiers going, yes sir. Yeah. Then you get. That's cool. You know, four guys in a booth. You get them in like all straight and. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> as long as you sound like you're doing it right, right. that's all that matters, and that's right. the beautiful part of it. I think I'd make them do it. But. But uh, <laughs> so after you you have some performance experience, hopefully some acting experience. Right. Um, it, there are, uh, like I said, you can send in a a recording, mm -hmm. uh, a demo reel, as it were, that gives us an idea of your range. Um, mm -hmm. Not only you know the place, the the tone where your voice hits, but also what you can do. If you can do any accents, if you do any interesting voices, we want to hear all that stuff then. All right. Um, and uh, there is also a, a general call list right. that people can sign up on, and whenever general auditions come up, mm -hmm. uh, we start weeding our way through that list, and people who want to come in, who, who have no other way to get in, that's their chance. Right. I got you. Um, so I was just asking this, I do, this is obviously for YouTube and my channel. Um, when I first started my channel 18 months ago, I thought about doing, like, uh, voicing over older RPG games. Uh, for mm -hmm. instance, I was a start with Final Fantasy 1. And me and a few of my friends got together and we voiced like 15 minutes of gameplay, which is like the story building part of the game. Um, and I got mixed reviews on that. And it does not on my channel anymore because it's... Everyone's it a critic, trust me. Yeah, uh, it does well, because it doesn't fit my channel. I didn't delete it because of anything, anything it said. Um, do you think stuff like that helps at all? Like uh, it can. I mean, you have like to. A, you like have to remember, YouTube and the internet in general has changed the game right. all around. There are plenty of people doing their own stuff. Right. Uh, There's no, like Dragon Ball Z on, on YouTube. Yeah. Now those are kind of tricky yeah. because because if you want to get technical, that's not their own stuff. Sure. The the dialogue, sure. Yeah. Um, but that video is not theirs. Right, right. That you know that doesn't belong to them. Right. So it, it becomes this sort of gray legal area. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, that sort of thing. And but when you're in the booth recording an actual anime, it's not going to be that. You know I what I mean? Yeah, I understand. It's it's, uh, it's going to be by the script, and you're you're going to say what's in the script, mm -hmm. and nothing more. <laughs> Well, we have fun with it, okay. but, you know, we are there to make a product, and right. that's what we do. So, speaking of having fun with it, do you have any uh, like memorable moments where you, you went off script, maybe? Uh, not me so much, because I'm a complete professional. Um, <laughs> uh, people do it from time to time, like, if they know they're going to flub a line, mm -hmm. if, if, if they're in the middle of a sentence and, like, they know they already did something wrong, they might finish out the line saying right. something ridiculous I'm and sure trying to match that the all the time. Uh, Vale's done it. Um, <laughs> a lot of people have done Vail it. Vale seems like he's uh, done it a lot. I think Sabbath's the master of it. Oh, really? So he, 
he comes up with some doozies, and and he'll make it match the flaps. Nice. So that's like an extra little bonus uh, to the point where you're like, would you just record the real line? Because <laughs> we can't stop laughing. It's like, oh, here. stop and it, no. Just record the real line, please, <laughs> Mr. Zabbit. I don't call him Mr. Zabbit, but I would, but I don't. Um, is there anything you want to tell inspiring voice actors? Um... Practice. Practice, 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 practice. Um, practice with friends. Practice by yourself. Right. Uh, get feedback from people who know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, don't ask for feedback from your Uncle Louie. Right. Um, who's like, ah, everything you do is Let's great. Let's say the people that'll, that'll just um, give you what you want to hear. You know, take some classes. Get someone who has constructive criticism for you. Right. Um, find good teachers, uh, check their references. Right. There's nothing worse than people giving a, a, you know, a seminar that costs money about voice acting where you don't learn anything, right. or they themselves haven't done that much work. Yeah. Uh, why would you pay for that? They don't know what they probably don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> um, so be careful, be vigilant, be diligent. And uh, practice, practice, practice. If you love to do it, then then it, put yourself into it. Do you it. Know? Commit. Right? Commit. Shia LaBeouf. Do it! <laughs> yeah. I don't know, this practice, I don't know how this came up. I remember in fourth, fifth grade, there was a sign in my English teacher's room that said, practice doesn't make perfect, practice makes permanent. And True. It stuck with me for a while. I don't know, just kind uh, of thought I've, about that. I've heard a couple of different versions of that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the engineers at, at Funimation, great guy, uh, he'll, you know, you'll say practice makes perfect, and he'll go, no, perfect practice makes perfect. Yeah. And I'll say, I'm you're sure. right, and then you have to remember that nothing's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many pieces there. But, it's you know, stupid. as long as that's what you're working toward, right, and bettering yourself, mm -hmm. and, and not so better yourself. So this is Kind of like the whole YouTube thing. Don't do it for the money. Do it for do it for you. Man, because you love it. Acting, acting or music performance of any kind, art of any kind. Really, right. it doesn't have to just be performance art. Any kind of art. Uh, if you don't love it, you're you're good, you're in for a lot of surprises. People will tell. People will be able to tell. Well, not only will they be able to tell, most likely, right. um, you're not going to be happy. Right. Uh, you. Doing something you want to do is, is kind of like the, the holy grail right. for, for anybody, I think. Um, yeah. Everybody wants to make money doing what they love doing. Um, Myself included. You know, <laughs> Funimation is, is, is great for that. Uh, it, it keeps me involved in performance, and, right. and that's what means something to me. It's not that voice acting is the only thing I do or I can't do anything else. Right. It's, it's that it provides me uh, the ability to work with other actors, to occasionally voice act myself, um, and what could be better than that? It's fun. It's the best job I've ever had. Right. Just, just one last quick question. Outside of conventions and in the booth, have you ever used any of your characters for any reason? No. No? No. Have you ever considered it? I mean, I, I do voices all the time. Right. They're, they're not necessarily anime voices. <laughs> Most of them I wouldn't, I, you could never put in an anime. Right. Uh, I like doing accents and things like that. You were telling me earlier like about that. the accent you were using. Right, right. <laughs> um, I still, and I've done this since I was a kid, but I still repeat what I hear on the television. Right. I'll hear a commercial with some guy and I'll try to imitate his voice right. like immediately and it's I annoying know. to people yeah, that live with me. That, but, yeah. You know, it's just something I've always done. Right. I'm a mimic. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. I think I went over six minutes, but... That's all right. <laughs> Till next time, guys. I'm Frank White. I'm Jay Joel.